Hello and welcome to Mumbai Matters. I am Mansi Fadke, Deputy Editor with The Print. In this episode, I am going to talk about a small aspect that's likely to give Mumbai skyline a facelift and how in general, there's been a change in the mindset of the city's designers uh, to uh, not just uh, develop the city in a functional way, but to also look at uh, certain small elements that can give uh, Mumbai an aesthetic appeal. There is a big zero that is being added to Mumbai skyline and defying traditional mathematics where the addition of a zero does not change the original value of an element. In this particular case, this addition of a zero is only likely to increase Mumbai's visual appeal. This is the Shunya Bridge which the Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority is constructing as part of a metro rail corridor, a 23.5 km line from DN Nagar to Mandalay in Nagpur uh, which connects uh, eastern and western suburbs such as Andheri, Bandra, Kurla and Chembur. The Shunya Bridge is to honour the Indian invention of the number zero. Uh, Shunya in Sanskrit by Aryabhat and blend the uh, country's modern engineering prowess with its cultural heritage, the MMRDA says. Speaking to the print, uh, Sanjay Mukherjee, uh, who is the MMRDA commissioner, said, being the country's economic capital, Mumbai faces limitations in terms of space for constructing iconic structures. Therefore, we are leveraging what we already have, such as metro flyovers to give the city a fresh and distinctive appearance. The Shunya structure is a part of a cable state bridge on the metro line to cross the Mithi river and a patch of mangroves. Uh, Mukherjee says structurally, uh, the bridge was uh, inevitable because one can't really construct, uh, it's difficult to construct piers uh, in, the, uh, in a water body and uh, on loose soil in the mangrove. So, one needs structures that uh, give you a larger span. Uh, span is essentially means the distance between two piers. And hence, a cable state bridge was thought to be apt for this particular stretch and uh, uh, the Shunya uh, uh, bridge, uh, the Shunya element, uh, the oval element was incorporated as part of the design. The MMRD had conceptualized the bridge and uh, it got the detailed design implemented from a company called Design Fact India Private Limited, uh, which has designed a few more iconic bridges, uh, you know, across Maharashtra as well. Now, coming back to the Shunya Bridge, uh, this particular bridge is 130 meters in length. Uh, there will be a total of an 80 meter uh, span over the Mithi River and another 30 meter span uh, uh, on the road adjacent to it. The bridge will have a concrete deck and a steel pylon in the shape of a zero. Mukherjee says the idea was uh, that an aesthetically pleasing bridge can serve as an iconic landmark, attracting tourism, enhancing the city's image and fostering a sense of local pride and identity. The entire structure with the grand oval zero can be viewed very well uh, from a distance. Cable state bridges typically involve uh, additional costs uh, because uh, compared to conventional bridges uh, because of their complex designs, uh, specialized construction material, engineering requirements and expertise. But MMRDA believes that despite the higher costs, aesthetically appealing structures bring many advantages such as turning into landmarks, boosting the city's uh, tourism and as a result, uh, the economy. 14 years ago, the Banda Valley Sea Link, which was opened uh, for operations in 2009, gave Mumbai its very first cable state bridge. Uh, today, uh, this cable state bridge on uh, the Banda Valley Sea Link has become synonymous with uh, uh, Mumbai as uh, uh, a modern infrastructural landmark. Uh, and since then, quite a few iconic structures uh, have uh, come across in Mum have come about in Mumbai as part of the city's infrastructural development. Uh, in 2014, a small cable state bridge was constructed above a flyover on the Western Express Highway as part of the Varsova Andheri Ghatkopar Metro. A double decker bridge was constructed as part of the uh, Santa Cruz Chembur Link Road, which was also open to traffic in 2014. Uh, now there are orthro orthotropic steel decks uh, that are uh, that have been used for the under construction Mumbai Trans Harbour Link, uh, which is likely to be opened for operations uh, uh, by the end of this year or early next year. And as part of the under construction Mumbai Coastal Road at the Haji Ali Junction, there is a multi-layer road that is taking shape. As uh, Sanjay Mukherjee says, certain aesthetically designed cable state bridges are reshaping the way people perceive and appreciate bridges. Their visually striking and innovative designs are altering the traditional notion of bridges as purely functional structures. And that's all I have for you for now. Thank you for watching Mumbai Matters. Mansi Fadke signing off.